A multi-million dollar project is about to break ground and provide housing for dozens of seniors. Sophia Thomas reports on the efforts to revitalize a historic Virgin's building into a new complex. Rebecca Hassan surveys a large white building off of Central Park in Virgin's. In a few weeks, a construction crew will transform the space into Virgin's grand senior living. I think people are really excited. I think it's been a long time coming. Hassan and her husband bought the property in 2019, a senior living facility since 1965 The Hassans plan to renovate and build on to the existing facility. Then COVID hit, raising costs and leading their original lender to back down. We ran it for a few years, more than we, a little longer than we expected to. Fast forward a few years after COVID, um, and we now have a group of local investors, which is wonderful. In September, the Hassans secured an $18 million loan from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the last bit needed to fund the project. Current residents were relocated to the Hassans Gazebo Senior Living in South Burlington for the construction phase. The Hassans estimate it'll last about a year and hope to move residents in January 2025. The new facility will house up to 85 residents, five times that of the previous facility. Many of those residents will be low income. We have committed to um, set aside at least 30% of our apartments for uh, residents uh, who are in the Medicaid program. Tracy Schamberger with aging advocacy nonprofit AgeWell says Virgin's grant will answer a growing call for affordable housing for older Vermonters. According to the Department of Health, one in three Vermonters will be over age 60 by 2030, and many will struggle to afford housing amid rising price tags. The more planning that we can do as a state, the more support we can provide to people, you know, as they move along um, in the aging process. And many city officials see the development as a financial win. An economic impact analysis estimates the facility will bring in nearly 390,000 to the city. It will also create an additional 39 jobs, which the Hassans hope to fill with locals. But some community members didn't want to alter the original property, which dates back to the 1800s and is part of the city's historic district. In response, the Hassans went through a lengthy process to prove the building no longer had historic value due to alterations over the years. They also committed to restoring some aspects of the original design. It's not a full historic restoration, but we are trying to bring back as much of the character from the original Italianate building that we can. The Hassans say their phones have been ringing nonstop and they already have some residents on the wait list. Reporting in Virgin, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 News.